Now, later on, I am going to make a video about these, well, how YouTube is pretty much treating videos talking about these dumb challenges. But this one just irks the fuck out of me. So in 2020 and 2021, we've seen a, a lot of acceptance movements and a lot of acceptance things. And one of these is people trying to speak out against fat phobia. Oh my God. Now, <laughs> I'm going to say it off the bat. Now, there's nothing wrong with being an overweight person. However, if you're trying to convince me to encourage being fat or trying to say it's good for you, then you're not going to get my fucking praise. Because here's the thing. Like, I don't know. There's a thing called science. It's been built up for fucking years. And there's studies that show how bad being fat could be. It shortens your lifespan. It hurts your organs. And people want to try and promote this. People want to try and fucking accept this. Again, you're not less of a person for being fat, but... If you're trying to sit there and encourage it, you're not getting my fucking praise. And it honestly feels like these people are trying to reflect their problems onto others. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm about like 789 pounds. I ate 12 banquet meals and it's Monday. I don't fucking walk or exercise. I could barely walk. Like, you see where I'm coming from? Like, it's not my fucking fault that you're trying to reflect your problems on other people and trying to encourage a horrible lifestyle because you don't want to stop eating fucking cupcakes and Pringles mixed in with a fucking burger. Now, sorry to seem offensive towards overweight people. That's not the message of this video. There's nothing wrong with being overweight. However, there's something wrong with trying to encourage it as a good lifestyle. And this is what these people are trying to do. And it honestly feels like these people are trying to get acceptance only for themselves when someone who has like an eating disorder where no matter how much they eat they can't gain weight they're just like yeah we get made fun of we're called fucking skeletons we're called all these names they turn them down because apparently they're too like scared of being fat which yeah no one wants to go through the things that you'd have to go through if you were fat and then they go on, like, oh, you live in a world that was made for you. This fucking airplane seat is fat phobic. One, uh, yeah, you could technically say that because here's the thing. The ideal body type isn't someone who's, like, four foot two, barely, like, well, fucking 899 pounds, fucking balding. You see where I'm coming from? It's not good for you. It's not, well, again, it's not the uh, ideal body type. It's, I'm horrible, I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. And two, it, don't fucking blame the airline or the airplane seat for being fat phobic because you don't want to stop eating cupcakes and you're so fucking fat to where it can't fit on you. Here's the thing. Like, these people are trying to make, oh, let's just make things for uh, fat people, we're oppressed. One, you're literally two thirds of the United States of America so, in what world is it possible to oppress two-thirds of the population on something that could easily be solved? And another thing, that airplane seat is not fatphobic. You are... F just don't go out of your fucking way to eat more and more. Just lose weight. It's not hard. It genuinely isn't hard. And... Like, they honestly just think anything is fatphobic just because, oh, it was losing weight. No, that's just being healthy. I just... I, do these people hear words like oppressed and marginalized on the internet and just think, oh, let me just use them? Like, because that's the fucking case. They don't know what it means, so they just throw it out of nowhere. <sighs> I just don't get it. Make sure to like, subscribe. If you don't like my videos, don't watch or leave a dislike. It's okay.